Well, we just got our monthly tea package from St. Fiacre's Farm. So we're gonna open it, but while we are here opening the teas, let's go behind the scenes of St. Fiacre's Farm and talk to Paul and Cian and see what the story is on the tea. How's my hair look? It looks well groomed. Thank you. We're here with uh, St. Fiacre's Farm and if you don't know them, they are a farm up in Oregon. They make tea products. They have a working homestead. They've got a YouTube channel. They've got a website. A lot of different things going on. So we just want to introduce them to you today. So take it away, guys. Tell us a little bit about St. Fiacre's Farm. Well, I'm Paul and this is my wife, Cian. And we got a little one here hanging out in the picture as well. This is Charity and she likes to be on camera. Yeah, we've been doing this three years. Mm -hmm. About three, three years. years. We've been blending tea. And that's about the same time we moved here. We have just about two acres that we try and grow most of our own food on. And then we grow a few of the things that we put in our tea and use other farms, flowers and fruits to add into our tea and organic herbs from other places to get our tea blended. And our farm is pretty small. We don't, uh, we don't have any big operation going on, but we have 25 or so chickens, a goat, sheep, a garden, and a greenhouse, and it keeps us plenty busy. Uh, so I wanted to ask you about the tea. How did you guys come to discover that? How did you decide on going with that as your product? Where did, how did that come into play? I've always been into natural health, and so we did a lot of playing around at home with salves and tea and lip balm, and eventually we started giving it as gifts. And then we had more tea and salve than we could give as gifts, so we decided to sell it. And the tea kind of took off at the farmer's market. We sold a lot more tea than we sold anything else, I think, because it's more familiar to people uh, versus a salve. And so we decided to go with that. And at the time, we started with medicinal tea, but uh, that didn't sell as well, and it was harder to market. People were looking for more of a tea to drink for the flavor. So we kind of ran with that and then meeting all the people, the other farmers at the farmer's market gave us lots of opportunity to use their products and our tea. And so we kind of took on the local aspect and also we could grow a lot of the herbs and things on our farm to use in our tea. So it gave us that route to go to. Uh, what goes into making the tea and then how do you gather all the ingredients from your farm and from other farms? How do you, how do you determine what all goes into it? Uh, it kind of depends on the purpose of the tea. So right now we're blending a tea for our tea club for March and I have some dehydrated strawberries from the farmer's market that I want to use. Sometimes we do have medicinal teas. We don't mark it as medicinal, but the purpose of it is medicinal. And so we kind of start with that as our purpose. Um, so it really just depends on why we're blending it and what it's for. Without telling people like how to make tea themselves, because that would defeat the purpose of you guys making it and selling it. But you know, what, what all is involved in making, taking something from the garden and then getting it into tea form? Uh, we usually start with a base for the tea. So, you know, the main ingredient, if we are looking for a black tea or a caffeinated tea or a green tea, or if we want an herbal, we usually end up using some sort of a leaf, a plant leaf or a fruit leaf. And then we add kind of the middle ingredients, the ingredients that are gonna give it its flavor and complement each other. And then maybe a third layer to that would be a presentation. So if we want a floral in there to make it look a certain way, or a, an ingredient where there's not a lot of it that just gives it its last flavor that ties all the other flavors together. For example, uh, one of our teas we call Oregon Harvest Berry, and one of the base plants that goes into that is blackberry leaf. And that's something that we have here in uh, quite quite a lot of it growing around the yard weed. <laughs> and around Oregon, at least in our area, the, there's blackberry growing everywhere. So we'll go out and gather uh, blackberry leaf from the plants growing around the yard here, and then we'll throw it in the dehydrator and dehydrate it, and then process it so that it's chopped up into uh, smaller chunks uh, that would be appropriate for tea. And uh, then we'll store it in a, in a container and 
and when we're ready to blend the tea, we'll use whatever measurement we've decided to go into that. That particular one um, is called Oregon Harvestberry because it's all the things that were harvested around the same time. So the blackberry leaf, and then we have apples that we dehydrate from a local farm, and aronia berries also come out about the same time, and some blue corn flowers. So it's kind of our uh, house blend, I guess and it's mostly local, and then we add a couple other ingredients to just kind of tie those together and make it taste uh, the way we want it to taste. Where do you come up with the, the ideas for the different flavors, the recipes? Where do, you, where do you come up with that? She doesn't have a problem coming up with ideas. <laughs> <laughs> um, usually they're inspired by the time of year, lots of seasonal things. Um, sometimes we get customer requests, that's actually how we started. People would say, do you have this tea or that tea, and so we would make it kind of as a customer request and then put our local spin on it. We try and feature an Oregon ingredient in all of our teas to keep it local, and so we just put that spin on the request and a lot of our teas come out from that. Talk about your websites, talk about the tea club, tell us more about that. What's the best way to access uh, your tea product? So all of our stuff is online at stfiacrosfarm.com and we have all of our teas available there and then we have our tea club where every month we blend a new tea that we send out to our tea club members and this tea is not available in our regular farm store online. And with that tea, they also get a treat, usually a local treat from another food vendor near us, and a recipe in the newsletter to go either with the tea or be made with the tea. And also a sample of one of our other teas from our farm store. And then we also have a blog on our website where we write about our farm and also new products coming out and how to use tea and tea education. So if you guys want to order through St. Fiacra's Farm any product, WHOTH17 will get you 10% off of any purchase. Where all do you guys post that frequently, social media wise, and what other things do you guys have coming out soon? So we're on YouTube as St. Fiacra's Farm and we try and get a video out every week but it's been every two weeks lately. And then Instagram is probably our other big one. It's Saint with a dot Fiacras dot farm. Is there anything you want to promote that you've got coming out? Um, we have a video on YouTube about our hoop house that we use to start our vegetables and stuff here on the farm. We're going to do an ebook on how we built the greenhouse because this this video has got a lot of attention for us. We're going to write an ebook that describes how we put it all together give some instructions and some ideas about hoop houses in general, and uh, we'll hope to have that coming out here in the next week or so. All right, well, thanks a lot, guys. We are gonna go taste some tea right now, but thank you guys for joining us. Well, All right, thanks for having us. Thank you. I do All right, well, thank you to Paul and Cianne for talking to us about the tea. Now we wanted to get into it and review the tea that we just got for February. These are some of the teas we've gotten over the last few months. Farmer's Wife Raspberry, Golden Turmeric Spice, and Aronia Plumberry. All right, which one would you like to try, Becky? I like the turmeric. All right, so Becky's gonna try the Golden Turmeric Spice, and I'm gonna try February's Tea of the Month, Royal Ann Roses. All right, Becky's golden turmeric spice is ready. She's been a big fan of this one. Pinky's up. It's good with honey and a little milk in it. And I'm gonna try some of the Royal Anne's roses. Cheers. Mmm, it's pretty delicious. All right, well, we're gonna keep enjoying our tea. You should go get yours at stfiacrasfarm.com. Help support a fellow homesteader and YouTuber. Thanks guys.